I'm here today to show you the new Vortex filters from Sentinel. Let's start by having a look at what's inside the box. The Vortex filter range is simple to fit and what comes in the box reflects this. All packs contain the main filter unit plus repositionable T-piece and drain valve. Your filter will come with either a simple brass direct fit connection or two isolation valves and of course an instruction booklet. Unlike some filters, there are no specialist tools for the Vortex so you won't find anything like that in the box. To install these products, all we'd recommend is a spanner and a pipe cutter. Now that you've got everything you need, let's get it onto the system. In many cases, you will be fitting the filter onto an existing system. The first thing is to turn off the power and allow the system to cool. Then we will drain off an appropriate amount of water. Obviously, in a new system, you don't need to worry about this step. Once you've drained enough water, cut the appropriate length of pipe from the system. Sentinel recommend installing the filter on the heating return between the last radiator and the boiler. Remember to leave appropriate space for servicing at both the top and the bottom of the filter. The appropriate pipe length to cut will be clearly identified in your instructions. All Vortex filters feature a 360 degree positionable T-piece. Simply loosen the T-piece collar and rotate to suit your needs, then tighten back by hand. It is important not to use a tool here, which could result in over tightening. Ensure the directional arrow is pointing in line with the water flow then simply adjust the nuts onto the pipework. If space is a real issue, you can rotate the filter to fit compact areas and allow for easier servicing. If you have a unit with isolation valves, ensure that they are open, then refill and you're finished. In our next video, we'll look at how to service the Eliminator Vortex range. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.